Hey guys, Lance Crone here, and I uh, wanted to do a video on um, something that I get a lot of questions on um, in my groups, my emails, um, Instagram, etc. And one of the things that comes up more than anything is emotional eating. And so this can be, you know, eating out of boredom or uh, binge eating, having cravings, giving in to those, um, all of those things. And so <clears throat> I personally have struggled with that myself. Um, in the past, it's not something that I still struggle with now today, but there's a reason why. Number one is because I know specifically what my body needs um, on a calorie basis to reach the goals that I have. And so that's the first and foremost thing to where too often we have these goals that are just like, um, you know, to lose weight. We don't know how much we want to lose. We don't know what our goal is. And we're told this, um, this nonsense of like, well, you don't really have to count calories, just make your calories count. Eat the right things, eat clean, eat healthy. So what happens is I get a ton of people going, I don't understand why I'm not losing weight. I'm eating all of these things and they start listing off all the types of food that they eat as if that somehow tells me that they're eating the right amounts of calories based on their energy levels and based on what they burn and their basal metabolic rate. So where I'm getting to with this is that the very first thing is that people don't even know how much they should be consuming. So what happens is, is whenever you're feeling these night cravings and you're feeling like you're deprived and like if you don't start, you know, um, eating something immediately, you know, which ends up turning into this like major, like just gorging session of like sleeves of Oreos or bowls of cereal. That used to be my thing. I would eat like huge bowls of cereal or just like huge, massive bowls of ice cream. Um, or if I would get like cookies from a store, you know, in those packages that have like 12, I would seriously eat all 12 of those, no problem. And just put those away. And the problem was, is that I was consistently undernourishing myself and I deprived myself so often of those extra things, those things that make you feel like, you know, that you're not saying no to everything. And so the way that the human mind is, is that we are designed to either focus on avoidance or um, moving closer to the things that we want. And when we're constantly avoiding the things that we want, or that we desire, whether, you know, yes, we can talk about, do we want those things to be a desire? That's a whole different topic. But the reality is, is that too often we have these cravings that go unmet. And when we're undernourished, we're, we're eating too low of calories because we're not even tracking what we need to take in. Um, then we have these cravings that get out of control. And we've said no for so long, maybe throughout the week to any sort of um, flavor or taste or anything outside of what we consider to be clean that finally we break down and we can't take anymore. We get emotional and we've not learned to really control that habit. So what ends up happening is we actually just go crazy and then you know the process, you do this and then all of a sudden a full sleeve of cookies is gone and what's left? Now you feel guilty, you feel like you're a failure because you didn't stick with what you wanted to stick with and you feel like you just started over. Like you just got done saying that you're doing well on your diet, that you wanted to lose weight, you're feeling good about it and then you just demolished a whole thing of cookies. At least for me, that's how I felt. I felt like a total failure um, especially coming from the fact that I've been, you know, a fitness coach for 13 years. What type of person who's a fitness coach has such cravings and can't even stop them from happening enough that you go through and you eat a whole thing of cookies? So what I want to encourage you is first and foremost is that this is normal behavior whenever you're feeling deprived. So just know that it's not going to be your fault. Yes, there are some things that we can do that are, um, you know, changing some habits, but a lot of those are just simply knowing how many calories you really need each day. And then the other thing is allowing yourself. I usually recommend for my clients that they do the 80, 20 rule, which is 80% of your calories should come from cleaner foods that are considered, you know, whole, um, you know, the, the perimeter items of the grocery store, but 20% of those, uh, calories should come from your fun foods. Those are the foods that are going to be, um, you know, considered less clean, more processed, or just foods that are maybe sweets or salty foods, things like that. And whenever you remove those things completely from your diet, then you, and especially if you're eating low calories and you're around these things that create cravings all the time, 
there's going to be a point in time that you feel so deprived that you give in. So what I like to do is prevent that for my clients and for myself. So I allow myself that 20% to be built into my uh, calorie budget, if you will. And that prevents me because I don't feel like I'm deprived. It prevents me from getting to those lows that I feel like if I don't have a freaking cookie that I'm going to die, which a cookie turns into a sleeve of cookies. So I hope that this helps a little bit. Just something to think about. Yes, there are a million different branches that I could go down on, you know, calculating your calories and making sure that you're doing the right things and flexible dieting and macros and so on and so forth. But just to be started, just the best way to do this is to know how many calories a day that you need based on your workouts or based on how much activity you have. And then calculating of those calories, make sure that you track them in either my fitness pal or the lose it app, track it on something so that you know at least what you're consuming um, versus what you need. So that way you can be accountable there. And then lastly is give yourself about 20% of those calories to come from your fun foods. So if you're not doing that, if you're not giving yourself those fun foods built in, whether on a daily basis or weekly basis, I prefer daily because that gives you a little something to look forward every day. So it doesn't build up so that you feel like you're going to binge and gorge on foods at the end of the week. So try that. Um, it, you know, I also want to know below if you, if this is something that you struggle with, do you struggle with binge eating or with, um, like what I do, the emotional eating that you get bored at night and you just start shoveling in food while you're in front of the TV or whatever? I want to know below. So comment below and let me know, um, you know, what you guys deal with, what sort of things. Am I the only one here? I know some of my clients obviously have dealt with the same thing, but I want to know what sort of things that you guys battle whenever it comes to emotional eating. So thanks guys. And I will catch you on the next video.